everything I'm wearing right now was given to me and those are the pieces that are most meaningful to me and the pieces that I hold on to. I got this jacket from my godfather when he was in Mexico. He thought of me because it's black and white. <laughs> That's basically my color palette, but it has tack dye and little women walking around and there's sombreros in the back. This shirt is my grandmother's and it's an old Yoji shirt. She gives pieces to my mom or my mom gives pieces to her and then she gives it to me so it's just a constant loop between us. These shoes are my mother's old Barney's shoes. These I found in Japan. I was living there for a few months right after high school to be forced in isolation and to be comfortable in that and with your own thoughts and to know myself which I suppose I didn't before. This is a piece of chewing gum that I cast as Christmas present for everyone this year. I make these carved crystal, they're solid quartz crystal necklaces and they started out as these carved sculptural objects and a friend suggested that I turn them into wearable pieces because they're meant to be held and because they're crystal the more you touch them the more they glow. Then I made cast silver versions. This I just made while I was procrastinating one day. And this is my good friend Gabriella Kish and it says word on it and she made them as promise rings if you're giving someone your word. Last year I went completely gray and I was wishing once I turned my hair gray that it would stay that way. It didn't last and I just let it keep on growing and it changes every week and I think it fits me so well, adding a little bit of wildness to my otherwise tame look. For my last birthday, my boyfriend got me a one-hour session in a sensory deprivation chamber, and that was the most terrifying thought to me. You're completely deprived of every sensation. You get comfortable with yourself in silence, and you don't have to fill every void. When they turn the lights on, you feel like you are being reborn.